Gonna need to be pretty deep. Yeah, that's gonna have to go a little deeper. I hope that camera angle's right. Pretty. This is a pretty handy little tool. Easy for me to work with sitting on this scooter. That'll make a big old beautiful oven. I'm gonna bring a couple more around here. So my daughter, if she come in one night and tell me she hit the lotto, I tell her, why don't we just buy this, try to see if the landlord wants to sell this place to host get, get and caboodle. In other words, this house. The guard department's behind the house and that house right over there. And then renovate the whole, the whole thing. And then if she wants to build a house somewhere, then go ahead, but get this and it would be a source of revenue. Um, Well, you know, in other words, don't do like a lot of these lotto winners do. They go hog wild and 
two or three down the road, they're bankrupt. Beat the all up. This is good water. Oh, I need I need to check the price of worms. Yes, I do. That's planted. Now, I got some people saying my way of peeling my oranges is wasteful. Well, these things is hard to peel. They sure are sweet. And by the way, how about leaving me a thumbs up and a comment? Just say, hey Russell, how you doing? Anything. You don't have to be on topic or anything. Just leave me a comment. And leave me a cotton picking thumbs up. And if you don't want to leave a thumbs up, leave the thumbs down. I know that's kind of wasteful, but they're really hard to peel. Now, if this was a true, this is a blood orange. If this was a true navel orange, it would be easy to peel. Or a tangerine or something like that. But, thumbs up. Thumbs down. You decide. <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> Plant one more. Got that one. That's one I'll dig up out back. Go get the water hose.
Well, I got one, two, three, four, and I got two over there, element ears all dug up and potted in pots. Um, and those are going to be for sale next spring. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here now. I'm sitting here cutting up cardboard. And it's overcast. I don't, I, when it's overcast like this, you're almost afraid it's going to rain, but I look at the radar, and the radar shows no precipitation. I wonder why it doesn't pick up these overcast clouds. They are clouds, aren't they? I would think so. I don't know. Well, I got my new hose today from Amazon. So, now I have, and what they sent me, instead of my 100 footer, they sent me a 50 footer. So I got to send the 50 footer back, and they already sent me a 100 footer. I already checked it. Now I, I can get all the way around there to where my compost pile is at and I can keep wet and stuff. Uh, and I got somebody that really pisses me off. But I'll put up with it because they're a friend. But they keep on like, Russell, you're 80. You're talking about stuff five or six years from now, yeah? Well, statistics say I got seven more years. Actually, I think I got more than that. But, they said seven years? I'm taking that to the bank. I'm going to, I'm going to plan on it being at least seven more years. I know it's time consuming doing this, but if I wasn't doing this, guess what? I'd be sitting in there on the computer watching videos. And this is being productive. This is getting this is getting stuff done. That's the way I look at it. And I've come to the conclusion I'm gonna have to get substitute salt. And I hate that substitute salt. But I gotta get off the salt. I salt everything. I salt and pepper my eggs. I salt and pepper my potatoes. You know, all that stuff. And my blood pressure is not extremely high, but it's high. Now, I'm obese. A.K.A. Fat Ass. So if I'm going to make this next seven years, I need to start taking better care of myself. I wish I could do a one-on-one -on -one private chat with Lisa Kleckner and a couple of other people. Uh, I 
got, I especially want, I got to talk more with Lacey. Of course, I have trouble remembering stuff. I don't understand why it irritates my daughter and Donovan and Jaden when I say, save me the scraps, you know, save me the, the uh, stuff. And, and my daughter was just in there fixing her and Jaden some dinner. And she takes, she chops up this steak. Then she sautés mushrooms, uh, mushrooms, uh, uh, <laughs> what's the name of that stuff? It looks like a squash, but it's not a squash. I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, I was getting the peels off of that uh, I'm drawing a cotton picking blank. I know what it is. It's Italian. I'd like to grow some. But she was putting, I, I could tell, she didn't say anything, but I could tell she was irritated that I was, she first was peeling those, um, dang, folks, I can't remember the name of it. It kind of looks like a cucumber, it kind of looks like a, they're green. Oh my gosh. Anyway, she was dropping the pills in the garbage, and I was standing there watching. As quick as she walked away, I grabbed them. And uh, I think I've already put them in the thing here. What the heck's the name of that? I swear. That irritates me no end, folks. I'll think of it in a minute. But, he can't. It's gone. And I love them things. I love them as good as I do squash. But you know what? There's some things that... <laughs> that ticks me off so bad. I can't think of the name. <laughs> I love them things. Wow, this is almost too thick. What's in there that's not cut? What's in there that's not cut? <laughs> That's tearing me up. I ain't thinking of the name of that. Uh, Alright, this is driving me nuts. I want the thumbs up. Y'all understand? Thumbs up. And a like. And if you don't feel like the thumbs up, you can do this. Give me the downs. 
I'm serious now. Don't make me mad. <laughs> Don't you make me mad now. Oh, it's not a squash. It's not a cucumber. It looks like a green squash. I love them. And I can't think of them save my neck. What, what they are. Um, she whiz. And I say something to the doctor about not remembering stuff like that. Well, that's normal. Well, golly, Ned. I bet y'all know, right? I bet it's coming right off the tip of your tongue what it is. Um, yeah, I do. I bet. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> what is the name of that? <laughs> oh my gosh. I tell you what, folks. If y'all are younger, you know, like in your 60s or something, and I consider 60 young. I wish I could tell you it gets better as you get older, but I'd be lying. At least it didn't for me. It sure didn't for me. It sure didn't for me. I can't get caught up on the cardboard cutting. And I'm cutting boxes every day. Watch Survivor last night. They had a double whammy last night. They they had uh, <laughs> now I done forgot what to call that. Where they go in there and they vote somebody off. Well, they had two different things last night. So two people went home last night. This one lady, her name was Heather, and she was 199.9% sure she was going home. And she was right. But the other person, Monsieur, uh, he was blindsided. And the funny thing about it, he was sitting there before they went to, to the tribal council. He got up to Heather, and he really liked Heather, and he, he apologized to her. He said, I'm apologizing because you are going home tonight, and there's nothing I can do about it. And he, he apologized, and he felt bad about that. But here's the thing. He had a hidden immunity idol in his pocket. And he was so sure he wasn't in trouble, he didn't play it. I mean, he was shocked. He was blindsided. He was voted out and had immunity idol in his pocket. I'll bet he wished now he'd have played it. I sure do, but I didn't particularly like him. Uh, he was an Indian, not like an American Indian. He was an Indian from from um, uh, India. So I'm thinking if they don't get that one. Uh, gal out of there, her name is Shan. If 
they don't get her out of there and she gets to the end, uh, she will, uh, she will win it. I don't like her. I hadn't liked her from the get-go. I don't like her. Don't like her. And that other one, She almost went home. It come down to her or um, or uh, Heather. It come down to hat. They were tied boat. Heather was uh, two and she was two. So they had to do a revote. And those two couldn't vote, but the other three could, so there wouldn't be a tie on that other three. Um, and it was Heather. I think I'm going to quit on this one. My celery's looking good. And my, uh, Tomatoes is looking good. Lisa Klackner, marigolds are not perennials, are they? They're, they're uh, annuals, right? I'm thinking, no, they're not perennials, they Got several of them now got flowers on them. And I actually seen a couple of bees around. I wish I'd have had them around early on. I've probably had a bunch of a uh, bunch of uh, eggplants. I still can't think of that. <laughs> oh, I hate to go in there and sit down. And what was his name? <laughs> I need to sprinkle some of that accelerator in this thing. Um, this cardboard is going to go under the under the thing. I don't want it get wet because it's hard to.
Yeah, I'm gonna put these under the thing just in case it rains, but there ain't no rain in the forecast. No rain in the forecast. You know what, folks? Let me raise this up a little bit. I guess it's around 4.30. Oh. I seen the three old ladies walking by a while ago, but they was got past me before I knew they was there. I might not start taking a walk. Nah, I don't want to do that. Uh, I wish I could get over there to Lucille's. I'd take a walk with her. I don't know if she walks or not. Of course, she gets around pretty good. She's almost 90. She's 10 years older than me. Well, she might be 90. She might be 90. She was born in 1931. Wow. Wow, ten more years she'll be a hundred. And that old gal, she's still driving. She's still driving. I don't know. And she don't seem to be strapped for cash either. So she did something right or her husband did something right. But anyway, folks, <clears throat> that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And I am so proud of these, uh, of these, <sighs> these elephant ears. They're small ones, but as you can see, I got them in pots, and there's some big ones back there in the back. Boy, if you could dig one of, if you could get one of them up and pot it, it'd have to be a huge. It'd have to be like a 40 gallon pot, or something like that. They are huge, but one of those, if you pot it and transport it, is worth over a hundred dollars. That the 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 root part on them things, I don't have a part laying here. It's about that big around. And it's probably, the roots are probably real deep too. Yes, they are. Anyway, uh-oh, what's going on with this? This is my, uh, That's changing color. That one. This is my camellia. Looking good. I want it to be a darker green than that. I need maybe I need to put some nitrogen in it. I think I will. I think I will tomorrow. Now, I can't get these cotton picking gloves on. I need a larger size. So, all right, folks. That's my story, folks. End of the day for me out here. I've been busy. Uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And I love all of you. 
And you know I do because I tell you so. Thank you so much. See ya.